we're here today because diabetes represents a major challenge to Europe. You know, now one out of ten Europeans have diabetes. We see that actually every six seconds somebody in Europe dies from diabetes. So it's a major healthcare challenge. Costs are becoming more and more unsustainable for national healthcare systems, and we as industry, of course, need to play our role as well. So that's why we in FPA came together, all the companies that work within diabetes, to facilitate a discussion around what can we actually do to improve our healthcare systems so they become more sustainable, and most importantly, how can we improve care for all the millions of Europeans that live with diabetes across Europe that need it. What we've done actually with this report that you have uh, in front of you, which I hope you will all read from beginning to end um, was actually to really say let's have a conversation not just amongst us as industry as companies but actually let's have this conversation with all those out there that are involved in managing diabetes with the patients with the nurses with the healthcare providers um, with the healthcare system decision makers etc we need clear strategy we need better data that we can share number one we need the patients, people with diabetes, to be involved and driving this policy, and uh, 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 including self-care, digitalization, all of those aspects that are in the modern world. And the third thing is that we need to remodel our healthcare system so that it works for chronic conditions like diabetes. And the only way to do that is when you have all the different stakeholders in the healthcare system on the same page, and they're all here today. What is around data is very crucial. Also access to medications and also trying to identify what are the best practices and the best healthcare systems approach that allow at the European level to try to create and have a better equity in terms to having better access to equal care to all citizens with diabetes in Europe. The Parliament is absolutely critical because these decisions are political decisions that will be made at a, a, an EU level but also at a nation state level. The two working together have the potential to be hugely powerful. For me as a patient again, patient involvement starts with decision making at the very beginning. It shouldn't be at the end of the process. So the parliament has the power to actually increase patient involvement also on the national member state level. And it has of course the power to convince the European Commission and the EMA to move forward, deliver on their promises in uh, changing regulatory pathways for example. I do believe that we here in the European Parliament can play a role uh, in order to uh, help people with diabetes. First of all, around the awareness, but also pushing for political actions in this area. More research, uh, better cross-border cooperation, uh, better uh, uh, treatment, uh, exchange of best practices and things like that. So I think there's uh, many things we can do and we should do. Many, many Europeans live with diabetes and we need to do something to improve their conditions.